everyone and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Shireen Bhai. In the last few years, we've seen plenty of action and excitement in the Indian motorcycle market. In fact, the last few months, we've seen a lot of launches in the 250cc plus segment. So you've seen Team Overdrive out on track performance testing. This week, it's going to be different. And that's because Shumi's got his hands on Honda's big bet. The 110cc commuter segment motorcycle, the Dream Yuga. Honda hopes the Dream Yuga will turn its fortunes around and help it overtake its erstwhile partner and now rival hero. Shumi tells you why he believes the Dream Yuga could be one of the most significant motorcycle launches of the year. Think about the best hamburger in the world and the best selling hamburger in the world. The best hamburger has the gourmet cooking, the exotic materials, but it's the best selling one that steals the limelight and it's the same with the motorcycles. The Splendor has been the best selling motorcycle in the country and honestly there's nothing exotic about it. It's an old functional design that does the business because it's reliable and the Honda Dream Yuga, this new motorcycle, is the one that deigns to want to replace it. Can it do it? We'll find out today. And this isn't idle ambition either. Honda is well known to crave 51% market share wherever it takes its two-wheelers, so why should India be any different? And getting a stranglehold on the entry-level segment is the surest way to not only gain that market share, but to also secure it for the future. It's a monumental battle to be sure, but one that brings the richest of rewards and that is why the Yuga wears the Dream Badge, a badge that has marked Honda's mass market two-wheeler success in its corporate history. But now, let's get back to the motorcycle itself. Like I said, nothing exotic. This is probably the most important motorcycle Honda makes in the world, not just in India. So does the engine warrant anything exotic? Not really. This is the Twister's engine with a little bit of tweaking and the results it produces are amazing. The economy, the smoothness, the refinement, the way this engine has a grace that nothing else in this segment seems to be able to manage is just incredible. And like I said, nothing exotic. The 109cc engine is quite peppy. It is the same unit we loved on the Twister, but on the Yuga, it makes 8.6 PS of power at 7500 RPM. That is still among the higher figures in the segment, though it has been tuned specifically for enhanced efficiency. The gearing is quite low, which is excellent for low-speed city conditions, the bike's natural environment. As a result, pulling away from traffic lights is easy, though the Yuga will hit 4th gear by the time you cross 40 km per hour, and sometimes you wish the Honda had a 5th gear. But let me add that in terms of pure numbers, the Honda doesn't really miss fifth. Our tests show that its economy is well past its already ultra-efficient peers with highway mileage nearing 80 km to the litre and city mileage is just frankly ridiculous at 72 km to the litre. Efficient and unflashy, just what you'd expect from Honda. In the 110cc segment, one doesn't really expect the motorcycles to be fantastic handlers. All they have to do is get around corners, stable, secure and make you feel confident. But the Dream Yuga, and I like it so much specifically because of this, does take the extra step. It is fun to go around corners, but it seems to enjoy cornering. So it is safe and secure and it does make you feel confident. But it does have the potential to make you smile as well. And I think that is what separates it from its peers. Now while our testers will love the cornering ability, what often makes or breaks a commuter motorcycle is its ride quality. The riding position here is neutral and the reach to the handlebar seems just about right. The ride quality is good over broken roads also. The suspension is neither too firm nor too soft, but the seat is another matter. I think it could have been a little harder and it feels a little bit soft for long rides as is. What I do wish for is better brakes though. The Honda uses the segment standard, which is 130mm drum brakes, and says the customers in the segment aren't yet ready to pay extra for a disc brake. As a result, braking is adequate, but it requires quite a bit of effort at the lever, like all of the other entry bikes today. I must note though that as a brand of this stature, I'd expect Honda to wear the mantle of leadership and educate and upgrade people to better equipment, like disc brakes in this case. Honda believes that the customer in this segment does not require anything revolutionary. He requires a simple commuter that appeals to him mentally as a commuter should. And that's why the styling strongly reminds you of the Shine, which is India's largest selling 125cc motorcycle. And what it is, basically, is the simplest commuter you can make. A fairing, simple tank, simple panels, just that they're all high quality parts, it doesn't feel like it's going to rattle apart very quickly and it's just a simple commuter, like it should be. Though 
the Dreamyuga styling is understated and quite plain, Honda has clearly designed the bike to fit seamlessly into the commuter segment and that is mission accomplished. The instruments for instance are laid out well in a basic twin pod configuration with the speedometer and odometer on the left and the fuel gauge with the telltale lights on the right. Our top of the line test bike here comes with electric start, alloy wheels and equipment levels generally are above par. Honda are doing everything in their power to make the Dream Yuga a success. As you've seen, they've got the engine, they've got the ride and handling balance, they've got all the equipment, the pricing is right. But to take on Hero, you need to be able to match and beat their distribution network. And believe me, Honda is so hard at work on this that every other manufacturer has an eye on their network expansion and they're all running a little bit scared and I'm not surprised. Because that's the only thing that's missing. The motorcycle is ready.